What's up guys, it's your boy Jimmy K here, coming at you with another deck tech. This is my uh, mono blue infect deck. I've been trying to like, figure out ways to like, beat the meta, <laughs> in a sense, and somehow I came to this deck, I don't know why. I thought like, going under would be really good. Like, if you think like, right now, of the meta being like, blue-white, um, like, value creatures wave, like, different flavors of heroic, whether it be the mono red deck, mono white deck. And then just like other random aggro decks. I don't even see a control deck. I don't even know if control decks even won anything yet. It's basically just like mid-range and other aggro decks. Why not just play like the most hyper combo aggro deck that I can think of? And somehow I came to Infect. Um, I was like messing around with like Affinity a lot. And I, I still kind of like the deck. And I was playing with a Soul Artifact. I was like, I'm going to make this card really good. Because I was, a lot of the games are randomly won with like, Turn one Ornithopter, turn through Soul Artifact attack, and sometimes that was enough. Then I realized all these creatures, all the Artifact Infect creatures are legal. So I was like, let's just combine those two, and then somehow I got to this. So here we go. Over the deck list, 20 lands, 16 beautiful islands, and 4 Cathedral Wars. Um, you really don't need more than like 4 lands in this deck, so any extra land is like fine. I also almost played Cycling Lands for a while, but... The controller is pretty good, it's an incidental pump spell. It can be kind of annoying because you kind of need like two or three blue sources to kind of really uh, do the thing. So, but the cathedral is fine. Like, it's the best turn one play I think I can have. Excuse me, my mouth is so dry. Um, all the two drops here Ichoclomir, Necropede, Plague Mirror, they all do kind of different things. Necropede is actually the only removal spell in the deck. Well, there's Piracy Charm, but. Necropy is basically the way you kill most creatures. Anchor Claw Mirror is the best at attacking. And Plague Mirror just kind of helps out, like, it's kind of there. It kind of helps out ramps a little bit, but they're all pretty good creatures. You always want one of these on turn two. I almost never keep a hand without one of these um, 12 creatures. Unless it's like a sideboarded game, and I know I can play a longer game. Next slot here is a Pump Spell. The Soul Artifact is the best one, of course. Two mana for 5-5, five, five, permanent. That's the thing about this deck, is that a lot of the... All the pump spells are actually like auras or equipment. Ghost Fire Blade, basically it's a two drop. Uh, plus two, plus two for two mana. Not too bad. Also sticks around if your creature dies. Just hang out. Another stable mutation. It's kind of like a giant growth effect. You hope to uh, kill your opponent about two or three swings. So the mutation will probably just last just enough so that your opponent will die. You also just put multiples on them and go for the winning blow. Oh, you don't even get the counters on it. Pretty great. Next slot, Protection Spells, Turn Aside, Museum Sink. That's a real draw to me of those decks, having basically one mana counter spells, Turn Aside. Also protects your permanence, so if you're playing as Ponza, you can protect your lands for some reason if that's necessary. And Museum Skin uh, protects just your creatures, though, but they're both pretty good as just one mana uh, Protection Spells. Last uh, little slot here is Utility slash like Unblockable, so Distortion Strike and Artful Dodge. Distortion Strike is also a pump spell that will give you plus one so and um, Unblockable, which is the rebound. Artful Dodge, good card to just have. Another unblockable sort of thing. Piracy Charm's interesting. Um, this slot's kind of a flex slot. I've been messing around with all sorts of different cards. Um, Piracy Charm is like the card I'm trying. Uh, this slot was also like Lazotep Plating, a bunch of like removal spells, like Reality Ripple, but it's kind of a pump spell, kind of a removal spell, kind of an invasion spell. I guess they're playing Islands. And the discard, I don't think I'll ever make the, my opponent discard a card, but I could. I don't know. Those are fellows. Um, those are like small creatures, why not? So it's just kind of there. <laughs> it's a flex slot, like I said. You can't put anything in there. Sideboard's mostly geared against a red deck. I think red is actually one of my worst matchups. Just like first lightning, instantly burn. So I have three chills here. This place away pretty good against like other just one drops, I guess. Two drops, not really that great because you don't want to bounce your own things. Instead of Royal Unsummon, also just more, more like tempo, bounce swingy things. Another card I'm kind of worried about is Parallax Wave. So I have a Null here, and also Trick Bind. Trick Bind, you can Trick Bind the first um, removal of counters if you just try to, but you have to like kind of play it out well. So they try to put a, remove the fading counter to uh, exile one of your creatures. You just Trick Bind it, and for the rest of the turn, you'll be fine. So there's that. Then I have a single island corpse curse here, just for like when I want to go a longer game, want to board an island corpse curse. It's a grave digger, you know. You can take a control route with kind of just like these unsummons, uh, displacement wave, corpse curse sort of action, and just play a longer game. So 
That's what they're there for. Uh, gonna play a league today, so five matches here. These might be really quick, one way or the other, or really long <laughs> videos, so we'll see. Uh, so let's get to the action right now. All right, I've got a match with the uh, Mono Blue Infect deck. Um, this hand almost has everything. I, I, I've been getting burned before by not having a second land. There's no protection spells. I might keep this, but I've gotten burned before by not drawing a second land. I'm going to try it. I have like two turns basically to draw a second land. But this is a pretty good hand. My, also, my opponent's playing a red. Like some red base removal. Breath has been so dry lately. What's going on? Tap land is what I like to see. Uh, I mean, their deck is slow, and I didn't draw a second land, but I have one more turn. I think they like, take these kind of risks necessary. Um, well, getting I think is really bad for this deck. I think it's just actively terrible, so I'm willing to take a ton of risk if the hand looks good. This would be some creatures. <laughs> Can get around that pretty well. So I need a second land here, it would be great. Did it. <laughs> play with the Necropede first in case they play like another kill spell for my creature. They're white, so I'm kind of worried about a parallax wave, but we'll see. I'll start bridge when we get to it. Gonna come in. The steward has vigilance, so it's a free attack. I could block and trade, basically, but I don't want to do that. Since my opponent's green-white, I'm, like, less worried about actual, like, instant seed removal. Ooh, Abzan. Okay. Maybe this is a Siege Rhino? I want to get around a Siege Rhino. What? Nope. Okay, maybe this is a Siege Rhino. They can gain all life they want. I don't really mind. Maybe not a seed right now. Do we do it? Turn three seed right now is very strong, but I will have a five five infector. Beat the four five. I think they're struggling for the seed right now, man. <laughs> okay, yeah, yeah. Well, let's go back. Let's go back. It's fine. 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 Green. Colorless, no. You want black. All right? Okay, maybe we're doing that. <laughs> yes. Wait. No, no, no. No, no. <laughs> You know, in Painting Dreadful, it's really hard. We haven't had dual lands in a while, so it's kind of hard. I, I guess it's just kind of difficult here. Why does that be a Siege Rhino? It should be like something different. <laughs> it's not a Siege Rhino. All right, it's a Siege Rhino. <laughs> yeah, you got it. I want to make a 5-5. Five five. I am vulnerable to some sort of like removal spell here, though. That would, that would, that would be pretty bad. But I get the trade with the Siege right now. Oh, they might just take it. Oh, they took it. That means they, they might, my guy might be dead here. It's never too bad to take like the first hit of damage uh, from an Infect deck. You know, it's not... I think my guy is just like not long for this world. Unless they think like a, a range tournament is good. Ooh. Okay. So if they don't have an Institute of Ripsol here, I think I win. Maybe they're just banking on Steward of Valeron, just like blocking. Okay, yeah. That was that was a bold attack. <laughs> that was pretty bold. Um I don't think Piracy Charm's gonna be very good here. I kinda wanna try the Corpse Cur. I feel like my stuff's gonna get removed a lot, so I got one of these. I'm gonna add an island. Add some corpse curs. I think that's good. I don't know about Parallax Wave yet, but try this.
Yeah, that's, <laughs> that's how they did. They tapped out on turn three, and then they died. It's weird. Weird. Um, hey, another great hand. This is actually the perfect hand. <laughs> this is actually literally perfect. Like Cathedral turn one, turn two guy, turn three solar frag with with protection, and then this thing. An unblockable thingy. Okay. Nice. I like that. I like that. I have a lot of pump spells. <laughs> I really want to play a turn two Necropede. I don't think um, they're going to have a removal solve for it. I could wait. I could kind of bait it out and wait a turn. And keep turn aside up. It depends on what my opponent does. Smiter. If I draw another creature, I'll definitely just play it. Yeah, I don't have time to like... We have time to mess about. We have time to mess about here. We'll just get, we're just gonna do it. I get, it could get vindicated, but that's okay. We'll just like re reduce the smiter. But uh, this is risky. Like I said, this is a bit risky. I should play like parallax wave. Parallax would be very unfortunate. It's just a siege right now. Okay, I'm fine with that. Okay, double and soul. The second and soul artifact's not very good. Also, just my point has two cards right here. Um, I'm just gonna attack. I'm not gonna use the uh, distortion strike yet. Very threatening six six. So I'm just gonna let them block a bunch. I'll wait till next turn to distortion strike. Actually, I think I can kill them next turn. Um. Yeah, next turn actually is a kill if I draw another island. I'll have backup too. I'll probably just block uh, with the Arboreal Grazer. So if I draw another island, I can Distortion Strike, put the Unstable Mutation on this, and then um, attack. And that's actually 11. <laughs> I'll have 11 damage. I'm not sure if we'll actually like, go for it if I don't draw another island. I want to keep the turn side up. We're just putting all our eggs in this basket. Dang. Okay, if they tap out, they just die. I'd like to see a tap out. Okay. I might just go for it, because I'm not I don't like I don't want to block. I draw an island, it's just like, it's him over. Uh, let's see. That's seven. Eight. I'm just thinking if I should go for it or not. <laughs> I kind of want to just go for it. Yeah, wait. Seven, eight, nine. Yeah, I guess this would be two, seven, eight. Wait, eight. It's just eight. So yeah, I need I need the mutation. Yeah, let's just go for it. Maybe like a disenchant or a naturalizer. Rather. This would really suck. <laughs> this would just really suck. I'm, I'm just willing to go for it right here, right now. But if they don't, and I just like attack, the safer play would just be to attack, but then I get Seed rhino I, I get just Seed rhino and die, so I'm just gonna go for it. I'll take the loss here, yeah, I'm just gonna get disenchanted. Or naturalized. Yeah, part of me could have, like, just attacked and tried that. But then, like, on the crackback, I get, like, Siege rhino I think I'm just dead anyway. 
I don't know. Maybe I'm going to play that a little patiently. If this was an island, I would have instantly have won this game. As it stands, it's just 8. If you draw a land, I die. I die to the monstrous. Playing more stuff, so, and, they have, and they have Parallax Wave, so I could just like bank on that too. The fact that like I know they're playing Parallax Wave now just like gives me a lot of information. Now I can play like the Annulls, the Parallax, and the uh, Trick Binds. That really helps me out. <laughs> I'm really glad they they played that. Okay. Maybe I don't want Corpse Cur. I don't think this game's gonna last that long. Actually, so I'm going, to, I'm going to cut the island. Do I want into the royal? Yeah, I think I do actually. Um, cut a turn aside. Maybe another mutation. So like, it's like the worst card against like um. It is pretty cheap. No, we'll just split these. Alright, I'm fine with this. I'm more worried about like Parallax Wave than any other just like instant speed removal. I have like so many answers to that, but Parallax Wave is just really hard to beat. Uh, yeah. Try it. <laughs> we'll run it. I think I could have played that a little more patiently, but then I think I would have just gotten beaten by the Parallax Wave no matter what. I have just drawn that. The little ramp guy was interesting too. Okay, another Pilgrim is fine. The sand's a lacking some uh, protection, but I think we could just roll with this. I can just like bait the protection by just like having an island up and just playing Ghost Fireblade. I don't want to lose this in Soul Artifact. It's the best pump spell I have. It also kind of sucks that everything is sorcery speed for the pump spells, but that's, I mean, it's okay, I guess. That's what we got. We're mono blue, okay? We're not green. Don't have like invigorates and whatever. Okay, this guy. Probably really just wants it in Soul Artifact here, but uh, just do this. It does make it look like I have like another pump spell or a protection spell. I guess they took it. In the cake. That's fine. It's not fine, but it's okay, I guess. Does I have the option of actually install artifacting my ghost fire blade and going to damage route? <laughs> I actually have that option very much. That's an option I could do, actually. It's it's really funny, because I have another Ghost Fire Blade to enchant the first one. Definitely into the Royal Link. Probably the Citadel person. That would depends on what they do here. Shield is little one. That's just making a two-for-one here. So. And I get a draw card. 
Okay, okay. I think I'm gonna go the damage route now. I just yeah. I guess it's time. <laughs> I guess it's time for this. This is just the goofiest thing. Uh, when times are tough. I can also just insult Artifact the other Ghost Fire Blade. He's gonna take it. That's amazing. I'm in the lead in so many ways. <laughs> Cause now I can like split <laughs> I can actually just split the Ghost Fire Blades. Oh man. Did they just play the um the thing again? I guess just vindicate the other, the Ghost Rider Blade enchanted with the Insole Artifact. Or just the Insole Artifact, just so many things. Can't get vindicated by. Oh, they got the, they picked the wrong one. They picked the equipped one. You guys hit the tapped one. No. <laughs> and they're attacking. Wow, no, really? Did you attack there? I don't think so. Okay, there's a Fleece Main Lion. Oh God. Is this just a tempo? Am I just tempoing this guy out? Yeah, I guess so. Yeah, here's the tempo. <laughs> oh god, and I drew a cathedral. It's not pretty, but we're doing it. We're, we are doing it. <laughs> it's not pretty, but we're doing it. My opponent did misplay a bit, but I had another soul artifact. I don't know. It, it's not pretty. Like now they have two creatures. They could like double block. No, it's a seven seven. You have the the citadel thingy and the fleece plan. I have a seven seven attacking. I'm at seventeen two double fleece lean. I'll triple block. Yeah, let's do it. Down. So down. And with the two as well. Oh man. Wow, so many lands. I will totally triple block. I will take the triple. Like I will trade my two cards for your three. I I that's the trade I want. The last card is the um the two three. Like I mean this is a simple block. They block one and then they get the monstrous one of them, so but if I draw if I actually draw a, um, if I draw a Distorsive Strike or Artful Dodge, this game's over. This game is actually over. What is this? Oh, just monsters. That's fine. I think I can attack with the 3 3 now. So, Arful Dodge, go. <laughs> Shields are down here. Arful Dodge, sources. Wow, just going for it. Okay. Going the one. And if I only play Mortar Pod in my deck. Okay. Um. A uh, fun note that this will probably deal with this because uh, damage is actually is damage. You still take damage as indestructible, so yeah, the infect counters are just better here. I can also oh, I can trick mine the monstrous trigger if they just kind of waste their mana here. I think I might do that. Let's just waste a turn. Okay, so they still have the citadel thingy. I think this is good enough because I don't want like two. I mean, I don't have to. I could deal with the guys. Yeah, actually, because I have a five-five guy, it's like really easy. So I don't have to trick bind it at all. Yeah, any unblockable spell kills him on the spot. Yeah, I mean that's fine. I don't really need to trick bind this. Let's see if they attack into me. That's the thing. They they don't realize what. Okay. So I'm just looking to draw an unblockable spell.
So I could like a double attack. It, it would trade. It would trade with one of the Fleece Main Lions. Basically. I could have actually just equipped, I think. Should have equipped. Yeah. Let's wait. Let's just wait a turn. Yeah, I could have actually equipped. Yeah. I'm gonna do that next turn. And then it just becomes a um what do you call it? No, that's not good, because it can just block with one of the thingies. Yeah, that's not good. I guess we're just at a standstill. I'm just waiting for a distortion strike or something. Another card I consider was Dizzy Spell to for this situation. I, I could play oh man. Cause I could just transmute for the thing and they just die. This is means I can play other just random like one drop cards too. I want to play like all the pump spells. This is also very hilarious though. I do want to mention that. This is very hilarious. <laughs> Fine. I'm just, cause I'm just waiting for Arful Dodge to be the best card actually. Cause it, cause if he has one removal spell, I could just like Arful Dodge the other one and die. Yeah, it's a protection spell now, so now I'm good against like any sort of disenchant. I can't actually lose my I can't actually lose my blockers here. Okay, here's a plague mirror. I just need blockers at this point. <laughs> God, this is crazy. Actually, very interesting and crazy. I don't like them drawing cards. Can't let them. Luckily, all their black mana is a uh, land roll waste right now, so pretty cool with that. So they can't, they're kind of like shut out on black spells. They have me. So no more Vindicates, no more Siege Rhinos. Shield of the Oversoul. I guess that's fine. Oh, it flies. It flies too. It's silly. These are my Into the Royals. Still just looking for the one card here. That's going to kill me in two turns. Great. I'm just trying to think of all the scenarios I can attack here. I could have trick binded the uh, renowned trigger. I'm not really doing much else. That would have saved. That would have saved me a turn, honestly. I'm just, it's just like Distortion Strike or Artful Dodge or Bust here. That's what I'm looking for. Because that thing's going to come at me. Return. I'm, I'm out, I'm into the Royals. Um, yeah. God, I drew so many lands. <laughs> maybe, maybe I was just overzealous that game too, but that was crazy. I drew just so many lands. Wow. Maybe he did the spell.